WMC Memphis, WMFS HD2 Bartlett, Memphis. Part of the Memphis Sports Network with 929 FM ESPN. ESPN 790 AM. Watch the sun rise, new days dawning, and it's calling you and me. Where the mighty Mississippi flows by Memphis, Tennessee. We've got woodlands, fields, and water. Hey, there is no better way. You can find. Saturday morning. Welcome to another edition of the award-winning Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790. Brought to you proudly by the Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Gaston's White River Resort, and Barton Power Sports. Now, here's your host, Larry Ray. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray and uh, breeze through the day. Um, this the, the 7 o'clock hour. This is the third Saturday, which means Frank Barton is in with us. And, uh, Frank, we've had a variety of subjects. We have, but we're getting closer to home right now. We're getting closer to home, yeah. You always like to talk to something like this, right? You bet. Yeah, because, um, we're, we're, you know, the dog days of July. So uh, have you been to your duck blind over there and looked everything over? You getting ready to start working on your blind? Uh, we're actually trying, still trying to get water off of our fields. Okay. Well, we've had trouble getting water off, but uh, yeah, we've we've started doing work. Well, I know you do that and everything. So, right now, let's. So we got uh, Mike Morgan on with us this morning. He's a media relations for Mojo Outdoors and co-host of that popular show that I know many of you folks out there, Mojo TV. Uh, good morning, Mike. Good morning. How y'all doing today? Hey, we're doing good today. Anytime we can talk hunting in July. And uh, and and talk a lot about uh, what's happened with Mojo TV. You guys, uh, when you look back at it, Mike, and uh, I know you're a hunter, and you, I can remember some things that, that you've been on the show before. That uh, way back to Indian Archery Outfitters. That's right. A long time ago. Does that seem back like? Yeah. Does that not seem like uh, a, a past lifetime or something? You know, it does, really. We have uh, we got started this. I had two or three other careers before this. He got out and said, you know, I'm going to do something I like to do. And got into the archery business, and somehow that led into, that was about the time hunting videos were coming around, got into hunting videos, and then I evolved into TV, and we had a show called Hunting Across America. Yes, and yeah. That went on a while, and then finally got in with uh, Mojo, and, and uh, had just been working with Mojo for about the last 10 years. Well, we just had Gary Mason on, talking to the Legends of the Outdoors Hall of Fame. Uh, we're talking to a Hall of Famer here. Uh, <laughs> I tell you what, that's something, isn't it? Uh, I, I know that that uh, and Mike was inducted in 2015. The new class is coming in this year, and talking to Gary, I know that had to be a, a moment for you, Mike, that maybe you never expected. Absolutely, I had no idea, and uh, you know, it's just an honor to be even mentioned in the in the same breath with a lot of the guys that are in there today. So it's a uh, it's something that uh, I couldn't believe, and it was a, it was an honor to be in there. Well, tell our listeners a little bit about uh, you know about the sh- the TV show, the success it's got, and you guys seem like uh, you actually like each other on this show. I, I mean, I just like the camaraderie between all of you guys. Uh, tell us how how the show is put together, and I know what the first uh, we had the new season started la- uh, last Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, right. Tell our listeners a little about the show, what to expect this year. You know, we've been doing 52 weeks of programming for the last, since That's we got amazing. in it back in the in the late 80s, early 90s with the Hunting Across America and then all the way through the different shows we've had. So it's a full-time job. It's not just a part-time thing for us. And this year, 
with the Mojo TV, we do about a half a year of waterfowl hunting. Great. And then we do about a half a year where we turkey hunt, deer hunt. Uh, I just got back from Alaska calling black bears in and rough and life, so, you know, Mike. It's a, rough it's a life, never Mike. Thing for us. R- rough life, uh, life there, Mike. You know, got to leave it Mississippi is. and go to Alaska. You know, I can't. <laughs> it I, is. I can't think of a better time to go to Alaska than July. You know, to, exactly. August <laughs> in August or something along that line. But uh, yeah, a lot of folks, and of course, uh, they looked at the TV show and they said, "Man, that's pretty simple." It's not, yeah. is it? Tell no, me, and, and being in a video world like you've been, uh, I wanted to ask you a lot about that because how much effort does it go to put into that show? You know, we average just over the years, we average a thirty-minute show. Not just just to edit the show and put the show together is between forty and fifty hours. God. And uh, <laughs> so, I mean, you know, everybody thinks, well, it's a thirty-minute yeah. show. You know, you ought to be able to put it together and get it finished and. You know, for thirty minutes show, you ought to be able to do it in an hour. But, but uh, we've averaged over the years. We like to say we've averaged between forty and fifty hours per show, just yeah. in the editing end of it. Just in the editing end of it. So when the finished product, and I know I've talked to my my friend Bill Dance many times, and everybody thinks, well, that all happens. It, it, it's so easy. It's not easy. And when you guys no. you guys lay out your plan. So this season, you're doing how many shows? We'll do 26 new shows and then rerun 26, and we're hunting anywhere from Alaska. We've got a crew heading down to Argentina a week after next. Oh, down there on uh, they'll be dove hunting and and mainly duck hunting because it's winter time down there. So, but uh, it just it, you know it never stops. We're on the road all year long. Well, anybody that heads to Argentina right now, you know, I hope nothing happens to them. You no, know. I'm telling you, it's a. It, it, we go down there with reputable people, and, and it's a safe trip. It's something everybody ought to try at least once. It's a it's a unbelievable trip. It is, and uh, other places like that. So, how do you decide, you guys? How do you decide what's going to be on the season, Mike? You know, we uh, we kind of listen to our to our viewers. You know, a lot of times they want to see things that they can't do, or that, that you know they just don't have the opportunity to do. So, you know, we'll do the. We'll do the Argentina shows, and then we go up to – we kind of start and just follow the migration down. We'll start uh-huh. up in Canada uh, in September, late September, early October, and, and just follow the migration down. We've got hunts there. We've got hunts in the Dakotas, and then we'll come down into Nebraska and Missouri and, and all, the way, you know, all the way down on into Arkansas, Mississippi, Louisiana. And, uh, and that's kind of the way we do, and then uh, try to get it all shot as early as we can, and then – just start filling in little gaps. We, you know, we work close with our sponsors and and try to get them out on a couple of hunts with us. So it's uh, it's 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 just uh, following the migration wherever the ducks are, we're going to be. And and tell our listeners about the show itself, where they can see it, uh, what it's on, uh, and and times. Right. We uh we've got our core spot is on be on Saturdays at two thirty in a in a waterfowl block on the Sportsman's Channel. Uh, which is on Dish and Direct, yes. and we've got two alternate times that are, uh, they change up a little bit, but they're on, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But our main time is, is Saturday at 2.30 Central. And, not, uh, not a and bad so time. Not not a bad time. And, again, we're talking to Mike Morgan, a uh, good friend from Mojo TV, one of our favorite shows that, uh, that we watch and have watched for a long time, and now we can call him Hall of Famer Mike Morgan. So, um uh, <laughs> And, and I know, Mike, look back a little bit. Uh, you've been in this business for a long time. Is 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 this uh, is this where you wanted to be, buddy? I ask everybody, I always ask somebody, particularly you Hall of Famers, what they wanted to be when they grew up. I, a lot of my folks hadn't even grown up yet. So uh, no, that's, that's about it. Well, you know, I started hunting when I was, my dad was a, he wasn't a hunter. He was a he was a socializer. But if the deer camp was open, he was there. He liked running the dog, playing cards, and socializing. Killing a deer would ruin a good deer hunt for him. But he always had me there. So any time the deer camp was open, I was there and, and started hunting early and just hunted all my life. And like I say, I had four or five other businesses and and finally had the opportunity <laughs> to kind of sell out all those businesses and got in uh, got in the archery business in my forties and. Uh, I never hunted deer or anything with anything other than bow and arrow until I was up in my mid forties. That was just well, that was my I thought weapon that's of right. Yeah, yeah. And, and uh, so just got in the TV end of it and and loved it. You know, I I enjoy filming just as much as I do hunting nowadays. It's uh, 
I've been all over the world hunting and shot about everything there is to shoot. So you have. I have just as much fun on the camera as I do on the shotgun. You're a blessed guy. You know that? I mean, uh, uh, to do what you're doing. And, uh, and a lot of folks, when they think of Mojo, what goes through their mind, Frank? Uh, you know, Mojo is kind of synonymous with motion decoys. They're really the first. Well, that's ones what he's got. Made. That's what my, my my guy here is. You know, every we all have Mojo somethings. Yeah, yeah. It uh, we started out really with the spinning wing duck decoy, and and went from there. And I guess our next big product, and the product we sell the most of, not necessarily the highest dollar amount, but but the most of are the dove decoys. You know, that kind of revolutionized how people dove hunt. You can go and dove field now. And everybody will have a. I got Everybody one. Everybody have a Mojo Dove decoy, and then we got in the Predator end of it, and, and uh, so, and then we got in the Turkey, and now we're getting, uh, we're kind of evolving over into the into the deer end of it. We've got some deer products coming out this year, but it's Ooh, uh, okay. Still our, our main, our staple are, are, are the spinning wing and the, and the motion duck waterfowl. Decoy. And Frank's got uh, a question for you here, uh, Mike. Frank Barton here. I, I got hey, a question. Frank. Looking on your looking on your website on the new product side, which is always like mm-hmm. to look at. You got something out there called Mojo Cloudy Day Wings. Now, there isn't anything that gets an ups- a duck hunter more upset than cloudy day hunting. <laughs> so, tell me about the Mojo Cloudy Day Wings. You know, back you used to read all these articles in these magazines, and everybody wanted a snowy, overcast, cloudy, rainy day. That's kind of what duck hunting was thought of. But yeah, we we always liked the bright, sunshiny days, and and it seems like the the spinning wing decoys just work better on bright, sunshiny days. But I think on uh, and, and what we've kind of come to or concluded now, this, you know, it's nothing is set in stone, but we found that on cloudy, overcast days, you really get too much flash, and it seems to, I don't know if it spooks the ducks, but they just aren't as interested in coming to, a, to the regular wings on a cloudy, overcast day. So we made a set of wings that are, that are, are not as flashy, that, you know, they're not as bright. Uh, and and they've got some texture to them that uh, so on a cloudy overcast day you don't get as much of the flash as you do and it seems you know we've we've just found that it worked better for us anyway. Well, you know, there you go, uh, Frank. Whole, yeah. What's that? yeah. If we could add those, I, I like that. If you could do it and add them to your Mojo teal, because we have found that the teal do a better job it seems for us right now than the uh, than the bigger mallard. Uh, decoys and so we've been using lots of little Teals, mojo eh? teal yeah yeah uh, you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you something i probably shouldn't tell you but it's just <laughs> it, uh go <laughs> ahead get, go ahead Mike. Get fired from mojo no. we have as much or better luck with teal decoys and the reason is uh is the wings spin faster and That's what frank said the yeah that, that the reason that is is because you can't turn those big wings on those big mojos as fast, or you can, but your batteries wear out so quick. So the little teal, the wings spin faster, and, and you get, you know, the optical illusion of the motion. It just, whenever we go, I mean, when we go to Argentina, when we go just about any, we never hunt without, without teal decoy. There you go. Well, I've been to Frank's place, and now he's a... Now he's thinking duck hunting now. That's all he wanted yeah. to do, Mike. You I just, always think duck he hunting. He always thinks duck hunting and everything. Like Mike Morgan, thank you for uh, taking time on a Saturday morning. Uh, always good to talk to you, buddy. Hope the, a great season for y'all. And again, Mojo TV, uh, anything with Mojo. I mean, I, I, you know, these guys have really been good to Outdoors of Larry Ray over the years. Uh, products, whatever it might be, uh, but now, now, and I'm, and I didn't get to thank you and congratulate you last year. It's good to talk to a Hall of Famer. I'm sorry, Mike. It's just uh, you've earned it, buddy. We appreciate. Well, I appreciate. You. It. Look, anything we can do for y'all, let us know. We're glad to do. It. All right, take care of everybody, in Mississippi. Okay. <laughs> All right, man. Good All right, see you. All right, let's take a break on outdoors with Larry Ray, and we're going back to iCast and talk to a man that was with a company a long time, and he's with a new one, and we're talking fishing. and uh, We can't talk duck hunting anymore? Uh, yes, we'll talk duck hunting at the very end. All right, take a break. Be right back. You can find.